Welcome to the Existential Empath Podcast. My name is Tanya and I am an intuitive empath. My intention is to share valuable tips, tools, and techniques that I have learned so you can tap into your own inner healer naturally and intuitively. Let's talk about how our thoughts create our reality and how our reality creates our healing, okay? So I would say five or six years ago, I was struggling. I was struggling tremendously. I was working in a hospital setting and I would come home at the end of the day with such debilitating pain in my lower back, in my legs, and even in my hands. I didn't know what it was, so I would go to the doctor and they didn't really know what it was either. They would um, prescribe me some medication for fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue and they would kind of just, you know, blow it off a little bit. Well, I was the type of person that grew up in um, Western New York, and honestly, my parents, unless we were, you know, dying, we were not going to the doctor. We were kind of finding natural alternatives to heal ourselves. So working in a hospital setting, I guess I'd gotten away from that because I was so um, kind of upfront, close and personal to uh, this modern, you know, medicine that we have that I started to forget my natural instincts to heal. So as I, you know, was in so much pain, I began to research alternative methods to my ailments and I just could not swallow the fact that I had to take a pill, literally swallow a pill. I didn't want to do it. So I found myself um, stumbling upon what's called energy healing or energy medicine or energy psychology. And I schedule a couple of sessions with both an EFT tapping practitioner as well as an emotion code practitioner. I also um, flew out to uh, Utah to attend an energy healing conference. And I will tell you that that was the moment that my life changed. When I opened myself up to a different uh, thought pattern or a different way of healing, my life completely changed. I began to experience healing on a much deeper level that I had never experienced before. And I'm not going to lie, it wasn't a smooth transition. It was definitely a rocky road. But as I began to dig deeper, kind of like peeling the layers of an onion, I began to really realize that um, the many, many years of buildup of my emotions and not processing them. I mean, like I said, I worked in healthcare, so I was working in a trauma unit in an ICU and I was working with um, an organ procurement organization. So, of course, I was seeing some of the worst of the worst situations and on any day, any, you know, daily basis, I was seeing up to two to three, maybe even four really traumatic situations that people were going through. And in order for me to even survive that without having mental breakdowns, I had to keep pushing that back into my subconscious mind. And every time I did that, it really was me not processing that particular secondary trauma that I was seeing. And I worked in organ procurement for nearly 20 years. So if you can really <laughs> fathom the amount of trauma that I had seen over the course of 20 years that I had pushed back from my conscious mind into my subconscious mind, you can really have a good understanding as to why my physical body was reacting the way that it was. I think it got to a point where it was like uh, a cup that was overflowing. It just couldn't take any more water, right? My, my body was just screaming at me. It was alerting me that you need to deal with some of this stuff. Well, I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't really realize until I started to um, do some of these energy healing sessions that a lot of my physical pain that I was experiencing, the, the, you know, the nerves and the, the lower back pain and the headaches and the, what I thought was arthritis in my hands, I didn't really realize what it was, a lot of joint pain. And the moment I started tapping out some of those situations that I had witnessed in my career, whoa, things started to lift. I was, one time I was, practically convulsing. I'm not going to lie. I was really crying. I had obviously trapped an emotion about a child um, that had been abused that resulted in a donation. And I didn't even realize I was holding on to that. But as we went through the tapping session, it kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And when I released that, it was amazing. I could feel like tingles all over my body and I could, um, 
feel that release happening and it was wow it was so powerful it was so incredibly powerful so I was sold then I was completely sold because that night I slept like a baby I had been having some problems sleeping and um, I you know that night when I actually did the tapping session I slept so well and I did have some vivid dreams too so uh, one thing to know know is when you do have an energy healing session is there is uh, you could or could not have a little bit of like a kind of a uh, detoxing response so an emotional or energetic detoxing response which is exactly what I had so when I had that first tapping session I released so much and then I learned how to tap on my own and that's when I could start doing it daily and I also got um, I read the emotion code book and then it eventually ended up getting certified in both the emotion code and EFT tapping and so I was doing daily energy clearings on myself and I started to notice that I felt lighter, I felt happier, I wasn't nearly as emotional. I usually would just sit down when I got home from work, sit down in front of the television and literally cry. I mean, I watched the movie Ferdinand and I was like losing it, losing it. Now I do understand that that's kind of a semi-violent cartoon, but I was losing it. I mean, more than I should be at a cartoon called Ferdinand, but it was just, you know, kind of my way of processing I was releasing things and I found myself just wanting to watch Hallmark movies all the time because I was experiencing so much trauma at work that when I got home I just wanted to watch Hallmark ah! and I loved Hallmark it made me feel good you know so um, if you're experiencing those types of things too if you work in the healthcare industry or you're a first responder or um, you know social worker policeman any of those areas where you are continually seeing trauma and you are having some physical pain and you can't figure out why, like you've been to the doctor several times and they aren't figuring out why, then you may want to look into emotional release, energy healing. It was something that wasn't even on my radar. And the moment I went to that conference, it opened my eyes to a whole way of thinking and healing. Our thoughts play such a key role in our healing, in our bodies. The two most important words in any human language are the words, I am. And what's so powerful is what you say after those two words, I am. If you are continually focusing on, I am in pain, I am hurting, I am sad, I am sick, I am depressed, then you are sending that energy out into the universe. And that energy is coming back to you and it's responding in your physical body. So what I started to do was say, I am healed. I am radiantly healthy in all ways. I am joyful, I am happy. Shift those sayings, those thoughts on autopilot in your mind from that negative saying to a positive saying. One thing that you can do for 33 days, you can say 33 times each day, whatever statement you want to say, I am healthy in all ways. 33 times for 33 days. You will see a shift. You will be so surprised. You will see a shift. Our thoughts create our reality. Our beliefs create our reality. If you only believe in modern medicine and you do not expand out into other ways of healing, then you will never heal. I was right there. I was totally stuck on modern medicine, not even realizing I had to go back to my roots to figure out my way of healing. Getting out in nature, you see here? I try to do this every day, get out in nature. I'm actually sitting on the grass. Probably have spiders crawling over me, but I'm sitting on the grass. And this has been so beneficial for me. It has helped my stress levels decrease and I feel so much better. Gosh, there was a time I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. I was hurting so badly and I didn't know what was going on. I was like 35 years old and I felt like a 90 year old. It was hellacious. So if you seriously can resonate with me and you feel that same heaviness, then check out my website. I truly honestly want to help people. I want to help people who are in the same situation as I was, who are hurting and don't know a better way. They don't realize that we all have our own innate ability to heal. And a lot of it starts with our thoughts. If we have those negative thoughts, 
then we are manifesting that into our physical body. But the moment you consciously shift those thoughts and ask me, you know, why do you have to say it 33 times for 33 days? Well, 33 is a master number and what we're trying to do is shift or repattern those thoughts that are on autopilot. You may not even know that you're saying those things. You may be constantly subconsciously on any given day saying, I am in pain and you're telling your body you're in pain and your body is responding with pain. So until you actually consciously change those thoughts, you will not see a difference in your healing. You cannot be in a traumatic state and be in a recovering state at the same time. You have got to shift, okay? And I am by no means saying that modern medicine is bad or the wrong route. There are absolutely positive things to modern medicine, but what I'm saying is I encourage you to branch out, to research, to use your own discernment and get out there and find new alternative ways of healing because there are other ways, okay? So I hope that this resonated with you and I always like to say that a healer is not someone who heals you, but a healer is someone who guides you and teaches you how to find your own inner healer and to heal yourself. So I hope you guys have a really great day. Get outside, enjoy some nature. Your soul will love you for it. You deserve to navigate your life in alignment with health, happiness, and abundance. To learn more about the services that I provide, including Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis, EFT Tapping, and The Emotion Code, visit my website, at www.theexistentialempath.com.